Welcome to Epsom and St Helier University Hospital's eye department. This video is about what to expect during your cataract journey with us. We're here to walk you through the process step by step so you feel more confident for the day. Cataract surgery is the most common surgery performed within the NHS. A cataract is cloudiness of the lens which is normally clear to allow light to enter the eye. During cataract surgery, the cloudy lens is removed and replaced with a new clear lens implant. Before the day of your surgery, an eye examination will be done to evaluate the overall health of the eye. You can ask questions about surgery and you'll be offered an information leaflet to read before the day. Biometry is an important pre-operative test to determine the power of the new lens that will be implanted into your eye to give you the best vision for either distance or reading. Most people choose good distance vision and will require glasses for reading. This is calculated depending on the measurements of your eye. On the day of your operation, once you arrive at St Helier Hospital, go to the reception desk on the fourth floor of B Block to register and check in. Patients will be arriving at staggered times throughout the day. The team will give you an indication of your wait time, but please allow up to four hours to be spent with us on the day of your surgery. One of the nursing team will carry out some checks before the operation. This will include checking your blood pressure, heart rate, temperature and making sure you are comfortable before surgery. You will not be required to change your clothes or shoes. You will have a series of eye drops to dilate your pupil and anaesthetic drops to numb the eye for surgery. You will meet one of the surgical team members who will answer any questions you might have about the surgery. They will mark the eye or eyes to be operated on. You will be guided back to the waiting area until it is your turn to proceed to the operating theatre. When your time arrives, you will receive final eye drops and be provided with a surgical hat. Any belongings will be placed in a labelled bag which will be safely stored. A member of our staff will then take you to theatre in a wheelchair. Once inside the operating room, you will be asked to lie down on a padded operating bed. The team will ensure your position is comfortable for the duration of surgery, which is normally around 25 minutes. Various simple monitoring equipment will be attached to make sure your vital signs remain stable throughout the surgery. Most patients require only numbing drops, so you don't feel any pain and you are awake during the operation. Some people may require an injection around the eye, which means that they will not be able to close their eye completely immediately after surgery and will require an iPad until the next day. The surgeon will be wearing a mask, hat, a sterile gown and gloves in theatre. The surgeon will clean and sterilise the area around your eye and place a drape over your face. The drape will be kept away from your nose and mouth with a metal bar so you are able to breathe normally. Your eye is kept open during surgery with a small clip so you don't need to worry about blinking. You will see a light from the operating microscope which you will be asked to keep looking at. It is important that you keep very still during the surgery and the surgeon may remind you during the more delicate steps of the procedure. At the end of surgery, the operating bed will sit you up slowly and you'll be taken back to the waiting area where you'll be offered tea and biscuits. You'll receive instructions on how to care for your eye in the days following the surgery, including exactly when and how to use the eye drops. After your surgery, it is normal to have some grittiness, watering, blurry vision, a red or bloodshot eye. These symptoms will improve within a few days, but it can take four to six weeks to recover fully. Once you are happy with all the information and feel you are ready, you will be discharged and can make your way home with a friend or family member. A follow-up appointment will be arranged, which will take place in either the hospital or over the phone. If you experience increasing pain and or redness, or decreasing vision, please contact the eye department immediately. 
I have my cataract done three months ago and it was a very smooth process. All I have to do is listen to what the surgeon tells me, not to move and keep looking at the bright light. On the day of the surgery, you'll be in the capable hands of a skilled medical team who will guide you through each step. We hope you found this video informative. Thank you for watching.